There is some bad blood now between two political parties in Texas, and we're not talking about Republicans and Democrats this time. A bunch of Republicans asked the Texas Supreme Court to kick a bunch of libertarians off the November ballot. And uh, we're talking all about that in our latest episode of Yolitix. Because the stakes are so high for the upcoming November elections in Texas, it doesn't seem that unusual that two political parties have been battling in court and that there's some bad blood between them. What may sound novel, though, is that the fight isn't between Republicans and Democrats. It's Republicans versus Libertarians. You know, people now, when they hear Libertarian, they don't ask, what is that? They, it's something they've heard of. They may not, they may be misinformed about what libertarians are and what, what we believe, but they've at least heard of it now. And, uh, you know, we started gaining ground. And uh, so once that happened, the Republicans specifically started trying to figure out how to how to eliminate us in whatever way they can. Republicans did try to eliminate nearly a couple dozen libertarian candidates from the November ballot recently because those candidates hadn't paid the required filing fee. Republicans and Democrats pay the fee, but Texas Libertarian Chair Whitney Bilyeu explains her party is fighting that fee. And these fees go back to the parties, Republican and Democrat parties, to, to subsidize and to offset the cost of their primary elections, which we do not have. The state Supreme Court refused to remove any of those candidates from the ballot, telling Republicans they waited until too close to this election to request such an extreme remedy. The court didn't weigh in on who had the better argument about the filing fee, though, which was passed by the 2019 legislature. Libertarians are arguing that separately, but they're convinced this isn't even about money, really that it's about votes that they may get in November that might have gone to Republicans instead. You make it sound like they, they, they just don't want competition on the ballot. That's exactly what they don't want. They've done it. This, this, new, this new law that came into effect in 2020, passed in 2019, cut our candidacies in half. We had about 150 in 2018, and now we have 75. That's how hard it hit us. So it's not like we're not trying to provide a choice for voters. They've made it so that we can't. To hear the whole conversation, including what these libertarians think about the notion that they might be helping Democrats to win some Texas races, snap a pic of this QR code or look for Yolitix wherever you get your podcasts and subscribe. All right, while we're on the subject of elections and voting, I uh, want to make sure that you remember here, if you plan to vote in the November midterms and the gubernatorial election, it's all coming up uh, this November, uh, you do have to register by Tuesday, October the 11th, if you're not already registered. Early voting is going to go from October 24th through November 4th this time around, and election day itself will be held on Tuesday. November the 8th, so just make sure that you're registered there. Uh, by the way, we have compiled a comprehensive voter guide. It has uh, all of the important dates and the key races as well there. Just in case you haven't studied up on those, this is sort of your one-stop shop, and it's available on our website in both English and in Spanish. You can find it right there, wfaa.com slash vote.